Hi, yeah, 12, this is Mr. Lim again. This is the third video on organic chemistry on the reduction and reactions uh, of alcohols. All right, so let's go. This is what we're going to be learning. All right, we're going to be able to name the products of reduction of an alcohol, what's required to reduce an alcohol, and uh, write half equations for the reduction of alcohol. So let's have a look. Alcohols. Alcohols can undergo reduction. Remember, reduction is the gain in electrons by the hydrogen on the end of the alcohol functional group, turning into hydrogen gas. Okay, so the hydrogen on the end of a functional group would have a plus one uh, oxidation number. If you turn it into hydrogen gas, it's going to have an oxidation number of zero, and so therefore that's a reduction. Okay, um, it requires significantly strong reducing agent to perform this. So generally, it involves sodium or potassium as the reducing agent, and those are both metals, so sodium metal and potassium metal. So all alcohols can undergo reduction, but they differ in the speed at which they react. Okay, so primary alcohols undergo the reduction quickly, so you'll make lots of bubbles of hydrogen gas very fast, tertiary alcohols very slowly, and secondary alcohols are somewhere in between. Okay. Um, the negative ion for reduction of alcohols are called alk oxides, and their suffix is uh, oxide. Okay, so let's have a look. So if I was to uh, reduce this ethanol, okay, if I was to reduce this ethanol, it would turn into something without a hydrogen. So that would be an O minus, and so this would be ethan oxide, ethan oxide. Okay. Um, the half of equation for the reduction of alcohols is two alcohol molecules and two electrons as reactants, and two alkyl oxides and a hydrogen gas as products. Okay, so let's have a think about this. Oops. So if I was to have ethanol here, okay, turning into uh, ethan oxide and hydrogen gas, I would need two hydrogens. Uh, from the uh, alcohols to make the hydrogen gas. Okay, so I would need to balance that out by putting a, well, two in front of here. Okay, that balances out, oh, actually, no, then I need the number two here to balance out the number of carbons and oxygens. However, the only thing I need to balance out now is the charges. And to balance out the charges, I need to add electrons. Which electrons, which side do I need to put electrons on? as reactants to balance out the charge. Okay, so that would be a typical half reaction, a half equation, where I've got two alcohols and two electrons with two alkyl oxides and a hydrogen gas. Okay, and then you can pretty much, as long as there's only one alcohol being reduced or one alcohol group being reduced, you can, sub, you can just change all of the alcohols and the alkyl oxides and everything else stays the same. So let's have a look at methanol. Okay, so methanol, carbon with uh, methane with an alcohol group onto it. Okay, it's going to turn into uh, something without the hydrogens. Okay, here are all your other hydrogen there. Okay, where'd that hydrogen go? It went into turned into hydrogen gas. Okay, so because there's two hydrogens there, because there's two of them. I need to have two there and two there, and I'm going to have two electrons to balance out the charge. Okay, so that's the reduction of methanol to methane oxide. Methane oxide ion. Okay, uh, reduction of 2 propanol. So let's draw 2 propanol. Okay, so remember making sure that you draw your bond to the oxygen and not to the other things. Okay, I'm not going to draw the other hydrogens too lazy. Okay, that hydrogen on the alcohol group is going to disappear, leaving a negative charge there. All right, and it's going to form hydrogen gas. I'm going to balance this by putting two here, two there, and I'm going to need two electrons to balance the charge. Okay, what's the name of this particular substance? This product, this is 2 propan oxide or propan, propan 2 oxide, and it's propan 2 oxide ion. Okay, next one reduction of 2,3 pentan diol. Ooh, two alcohol groups. Okay, P 
Penton 5, dial 2, 3. Okay. It's going to reduce both alcohol groups. Where have those hydrogens gone? To form some hydrogen gas. Okay. Now, the interesting here is that I'm not going to need to put coefficients here. Why? Because I've lost two hydrogens, one there, one there. That's where it was, that's where it was. Okay, since I don't need to, uh, since there are two of those hydrogens there, I don't need to put coefficients there. Do I not need to put two electrons? No, I still need two electrons because this is two minus, not one minus. Okay, that would balance out the charge. How do I name this substance, uh, this product? This would be 2, 3, pentan dioxide, dioxide ion, pentan dioxide ion. All right, last one, go nice and quick, 2-methyl, two 2-hexanol. Two Hexanol, 2-methyl, two 2-ol. Two okay, tertiary alcohol. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Here's that thing. Here's the hydroxy group without the hydrogen. It's making two hydrogens as well. So I'm going to need some coefficients here, two there, two there, and two electrons. Okay, um, how do I name that substance? Uh, well, it's going to be a 2-methyl, because it's still got a methyl group, 2-hexanoxide ion. Okay, um, just another note, because it's with the sodium metal so the sodium will go into na plus plus e minus this ion that is produced technically becomes a sodium uh, alkoxide salt so it would be sodium 2 methyl 2 hexanoxide if you were to talk about the solid that's produced all right that's it not too long